use case for link is to find rows in a big chunk of data and Excel can be one of them. In this video, I want to make a comparison between how to find rows using the classical RPE method using the for each versus link. If you want to learn link, I do have a YouTube playlist and an entire course with a bunch of example, which I'm going to leave a link both in the description. Now let's get started. So I have here a simple thing. I'm going to read from the challenge at Excel six and I want to filter the length which they have equal with four. So for the current rows that the first name is equal four, I'm going to display the first name. So this is the classical approach. We are using the for each row. I'm going to collapse this. So how we can uh, use? Well, we have the first option is to use for each. So for each, now I'm going to change the type argument from uh, this to browse for type. I'm going to select data row. Okay, data row. And we are having a look here for each uh, current. And uh, that's the customer's DT as enumerable. And I can write directly the query here. So I can say where, and I can say function. Uh, by the way, I can have another variable which will name a row. And row that off. Okay, I'm just gonna expand uh, the advanced editor because it's much easier to read. So row, it has a variable, uh, a function which is named field of string. And we are using the first name length is equal with four. And I have the only parenthesis which I'm going to return is by after this where. So this is returning an I enumerable of data rows. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, because this is I enumerable, I can use using a for each. By the way, this is a for each and not a for each data row. So I'm going to name this, uh, I can give the same name row. And after I will just copy here uh, the right line, copy and hit paste. And instead of the row, I'm going to say row. And that should be all. Let's give a run to this project and see if it works. Okay, we are having two rows. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a delimited here. But uh, the first uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, are uh, by the old approach. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five are the exactly rows after. Right now we are using the for each row and for each. However, you can use instead of the for each row, if you really want, uh, you can use the for each. It's basically the same thing. So if you're going to use here for each, you're going to change the data type to data row and instead of um, uh, you can use actually without filtering so customers dt as enumerable and these two are compatible right now uh, okay I can rename this to row so this for each along with this for each data row are equal uh, is the same thing even if there are two activities the behavior is the same now I prefer to use for each every time when I use in conjunction with link because I can write the query here in line. And then in the body, I just use the action which I'm interested in. In this case, I'm gonna use the right line. However, I can show another approach even shortest. So if I will just take this right line and put it after, let's say I want to be on a single line. So if I want to be on a single line, I just Take this where clause, I'm going to just copy in my clipboard, go in the advanced editor, I'm going to hit paste. And then I'll just say select. Uh, let's say select. And instead of uh, the row, I'll take the function. That should be the row. And I'll select these and I'll use string.join. And I'm going to use environment that new line with the collection which I have filtered here, which is a collection of uh, first name. I'm gonna hit okay. And if I'll use, uh, if I'm gonna run here, I expect the last one to be on the same line, uh, but it's a single right line, which has an enter between uh, the items. 
So this is the first execution, that's the second, and this is the third. And you can see how simple it is to write language integrated queries. Indeed, they are a bit complex, you need to open advanced editor, but they are much easy to write and much easy to debug. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful and press the like and subscribe button, it really gives me the motivation to continue to make these videos. Also, confirm to the YouTube algorithm that this is a great content, so others can see it as well. Now, if you want to learn more about Link, check out this playlist, or you can consider the entire course from the description below. Thank you, I'm Daniel, and until the next time, see you soon. Bye.